Welcome to LabMins.com in a lab video series on Cisco and XOS. This is Metha, your instructor for this video series. For a complete list of NXOS videos, you can visit our website under Data Center section. There you can also sign up for our newsletters to receive the latest video updates. And here we go again, another fresh new video series for our Lab Minutes. Thank you all for joining us. If this is your first time watching our video, I would like to give you a warm welcome. And for those who have been following our video series, welcome back. We have spent a lot of time on Cisco Nexus switches in ACI mode in the last three video series. In this video series, we will be covering the other possible operating mode, which is an XOS. And XOS was the primary operating systems on the Nexus switches when it came out over a decade ago, and it has been Cisco leading data center switching platform ever since. Unlike ACI, an XOS does not really have a reference architecture, configuration abstraction, or special terminologies that we need to become accustomed to. Just a good old CLI that you use to enable and configure features that you need. So what we will be doing in this first introduction video of this series is to get you familiar with the current hardware landscape and give you some background on software licensing. So let's get into that. Nexus Switch hardware has gone through many iterations since it first came out, many of which are now considered either end of life or getting close to be. These include Cisco Nexus 2K fabric extender, the 4K blade switch, the 5K, 6K for the top of the rack or an aggregation, and Nexus 7K modular chassis based. If you have an existing Nexus deployment, there is a chance that you may still have one of those switch models. If you are looking for a greenfield install or upgrading from the models that we mentioned, you will be looking at either the Nexus 3K or 9K. In fact, Cisco has been positioning the Nexus 9000 or 9K to be a go-to data center switching platform for both ACI and non-ACI deployment, with the 3K being used only in an environment with special requirements. You will see that Cisco Nexus Switch supports a wide range of port speed from 100 meg to support legacy endpoints to 800 gig now for high-speed connectivity. It also comes in a variety of form factor, one or two rack unit, top of the rack type switch, up to 16 rack unit chassis for high port capacity. That said, these two platforms should be able to cover all your data center connectivity requirements. Keep in mind that what we are about to discuss is valid as of early 2024. This information will change over time as switches gets retired, a new model comes out. So you always want to check on Cisco websites for latest product information. Let's start our discussion by looking at Cisco Nexus 3000. So this is this guy right here. As mentioned, Nexus 3000 or 3K was meant for a specialized environment that requires ultra low latency and or large buffer size. Some of the model like the 3100, the 3200 and the 3400 have been available for a while now. Even though you may still be able to purchase them, you probably do not want to as they do not support certain networking features. They will most likely go in the life in the near future. And they will not upgrade past an XOS version 9. The two current models of the 3K product families are the 3500 and the 3600, both of which supports Nexus OS version 10 and above. The 3500 has less than 250 nanosecond latency, so it is meant for high frequency trading environment. 3600 on the other hand has a large 32 gig memory and are also available in 1025 gig or the 4000 gigs form factor. Keep in mind that even though both 3500 and 3600 may have almost features parity as the Nexus 9000, including VXLAN, it does not support ACI or streaming telemetry with the Nexus dashboard insight. So that's it for the Nexus 3K, fairly straightforward, not a very large product family. Next, let's talk about the Nexus 9000. Nexus 9000 is now considered Cisco flagship platform for data center switching. You can see how this is being reflected by the number and variety of switch models available. The current model includes the 9200, 9300, 9400, 9500, and 